Welcome friends to another unboxing video, a special holiday Christmas unboxing video. I'm quite excited about this package that just arrived from the post office because it contains a rather interesting leather vintage etui and I presume it's from the 1940s. You will see what I'm talking about. So this is the package. This is my trusted little knife. Okay. And now I will unbox it. You know that I'm not particularly good at this operation. So bear with me. From here. And... I think I will ruin the box. I don't know. Hmm. Let me see if I can. Okay. I definitely <laughs> ruined the little box. But um, let's hope that um, I can manage to open it. Yes. Okay, beast mode. <laughs> yes, so I done it. Let me cut. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, slowly let's peel it out, and this is the box. It contains some bubbles, bubbles, wrapping bubbles. And let's see. So this one, two, rather bubbly, bubbly, bubbles, bubbles. Okay, so this uh, is the box with uh, bubbles. I will uh, take it aside. Sorry about this. Let's put the elephant back. And this is, oh my God, this is wrapped in, let me see if I can, <laughs> yes, I've managed. So this guys is uh, the little surprise, the little atui. And, um, it's a vintage and to a beautiful shape with this um, crocodile pattern, this leather pattern. And um, I am quite excited because I paid for this leather etui only 200 lei, which means I paid 41 euros or 50 American dollars. But this is a pelican leather etui. And... Um, I will zoom on it because I want to show you something rather special. You see this DRGM. So um, R is for um, Register Reich. So this was a registered trademark used by the Reich. And you know that um, after 1945, when Germany lost the Second World War, they... Um, didn't call their nation Reich anymore. So I believe that this is a leather etui from, or at least before 1945. Beautiful, beautiful leather etui. You can see that it hold, uh, it uh, was intended for a set for two instruments. I don't know, maybe I can match it with the original instruments it was sold back then. So this was the leather etui. This was the main reason that I ordered for from this uh, great seller. By the way, I will mention its name. I hope he, he will, wouldn't mind. His name is uh, Dan Nika. You can check out his Facebook page right here. And maybe you will uh, find something interesting to buy from him. It is a wonderful seller because initially I ordered uh, this uh, leather etui. And after that, I saw that it had some uh, fountain pens at quite reasonable prices. So I bought this and other four fountain pens that I will show you. 
and the total was around 770 lays around 158 euros or 192 american dollars and uh, he was quite uh, generous and because i bought uh, so many items he offered me a discount of approximately 10%. So I paid only 700 lace for all of um, this, which I will show you, uh, including the shipment. So uh, they all cost me only 144 euros or 174 American dollars. Okay, let me show you the beautiful, beautiful pants. Let's get rid of this. So they are quite well packaged and um, I don't know, let's, I will use a scissors, but I, I don't have one available. Uh, no problem. I will just uh, try to, sorry about that. I am a um, little bit nervous, little bit excited of the content. They are from uh, different manufacturers. You will see I have an American fountain pen and some uh, Italians and English fountain pens. So a total of only four fountain pens, but so the seller did a great job of um, protecting them. Let me see. I've managed to extract one, but no. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, I will um, try to make it as fast as I can. I don't want to ruin the beautiful bubbles, but <laughs> that's it, I have to do it. In order for uh, you to, to save some little time. Okay. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, open. I hope I won't cut myself. Okay, let me see if I can do the same stunt that I did with the leather at we No, I will just take them off. Okay. So quite lots of unboxings. Let's start with the first one. And yes, this is a little Italian fountain pen. I hope I, you can see. It is an Omas Extra made in Italy with a beautiful, beautiful uh, Greek theme gold ring. And it comes with this. Let me show it to you. This simple gold plated Omas M nib. It, uh, the seller told me it had some teeth mark here. At the end of the barrel I believe this is a piston filler I will test it when I do the review so this is uh, the Omas extra okay I will leave it here let me see what we have this is a beautiful beautiful fountain pen I'm not so sure yes it's a Conway Stewart let me zoom for you to see. Sorry about the lighting. Let me see if I close it. Yes, I believe it is better like this. So a Conway Stewart number 12. Made in England. A lever filler. This I bought because I love, love the material. You can see this greenish material. Let me see if we have a gold nib. I hope we do. Yes, it's a 14 karat gold nib. Quite, quite a nice gold nib. Okay, so this is the second fountain pen. Okay, the seller told me that this fountain pen is uh, not in working condition. So, uh, it is what it is. I have another fountain pen. I'm not so sure what uh, this is. So, it is coal... Calligraph, okay, and it is a swan. Oh no, yes, sorry, uh, maybe toad. 
made in England with the Swan logo. This is my first maybe third. <laughs> Let me check out if it has a gold nib. Okay, let me zoom on it. Yes, 14 karat gold nib. I don't like the way that um, the feed is, is aligned with the nib, but um, it would need a little work. I'm curious what it writes on the back of the feed. Yes, Swan SF2. Okay, this is the third fountain pen. And the first fountain pen, it is one of my favorites. This is a Parker 75 in this gorgeous, gorgeous color. You could call it a tiger eye or a brown color. Quite, quite a nice, nice little pen. I already have a Parker 45, uh, 75 in my collection. And yes, indeed, this is a special one because it has uh, for an 18 karat gold nib specific to France. You know that in France, in order to for you to sell a fountain pen with a gold nib, that gold needs to be at least 18 carats. So um, no 14 carats fountain pens uh, you come from France. So this is the last fountain pen. I'm curious about its filling mechanism. Let me see. Yes, it's a cartridge filled. Unfortunately, no converter in converter included, but um, I didn't pay much for it. So I'm quite, quite pleased with uh, this, this little beauty. So guys, this was my unboxing today. Let me change the perspective for you to see the fountain pens okay yes now sorry about that now you can see them all and um, i'm quite quite excited of course these are um, i don't call them common they are vintage fountain pens some of them need a little bit of love and work but uh, this is a rare, rare find, and um, I uh, can hardly wait to do the um, research to see if indeed I was right, if indeed this Etui uh, comes from um, uh, Pelican before 1945. So, the DRGM, so this is why I think it's pre-1945. Guys, thank you for your time. I wish you wonderful holidays and uh, have a nice Christmas. I hope that you would uh, receive some uh, great uh, little boxes with gifts like I do. Thank you for your time. Wherever you are, have a nice day. If you've enjoyed this unboxing, please consider subscribing to my channel. You really can help me this way. See you again at the next episode. And... Bye-bye.